Today, we'll show you how to properly set up and configure an on-premise RLM server license for Barracuda Virtual Reactor on a Windows system. If you'd like to perform the setup on a Linux operating system, the instructions to do so are included on a separate video in this web page. These instructions assume that you've already installed the appropriate RLM server files. If not, please navigate to the on-premise RLM server installation files post on CPFD website and install them to the default directory. Following your software license purchase, you should have received an email containing the license file. We'll start by downloading this file to the correct location on our Windows operating system. On the main installation instruction webpage, navigate down to the Windows section. The appropriate directory is highlighted on the screen. Keep in mind that this is the default path of the reprice folder. If you have changed the default path, you'll need to copy the license file to the new location. Using Windows File Explorer, we can manually copy the license file to the reprice folder. Open up Windows File Explorer and copy the license file. Next, paste it in the reprice folder. You may need administrative permissions to copy this folder. Please select Continue. On the main RLM server license installation webpage, we can navigate down to the Reprise License Server Administration webpage. This webpage is responsible for maintaining licenses connected to the Virtual Reactor software. Open up the link to this webpage. Next, navigate down to the Reread and Restart Servers button on the left hand side. With ISV set to All, select Reread and Restart. Next, select the status button. Scrolling to the bottom, we can see this license pool status table. Here we can verify that the correct licenses are configured based on your software purchase agreement. This table also gives us information about the number of licenses and their current usage. To see the license usage, select the See Usage button under the Show License Usage column. As we have not currently entered the licenses into the software, there is no license usage. We'll show you how to configure this in the software in the next step. Now that we have confirmed that the correct licenses are available, we can begin entering them into Barracuda. Open your preferred version of Barracuda. In our case, we will be using the, tw the version 24.0.0. You can see here that currently no licensed servers are specified. We can specify them by opening up the Servers tab. Click Add and create a name for the licensed server. We'll call this On-Premise License Server, though the name doesn't really matter. Under Path, the default license port is 27015, and the server name localhost can be used to specify the RLM server. We'll enter it here under Path. Select Connect. There should be a working version of the GUI now available. Next, let's verify that the licenses are currently checked out. Navigate back to the Status button on the left-hand side. Scroll down and select CPFD button under Server Status column. Under the License Pool Status table, we can see that two licenses are currently checked out. These are required for running the GUI. This has been a tutorial on how to set up and configure an on-premise license server for a Windows system. If you'd like to do so for a Linux system, a separate video is included on the same web page. If you have any following questions, please ask our support team.